Dancing at Lunisa Review, a thoughtful funny staging of an Irish great. It's hard to resist the age-old etiquette demanding no dancing in the aisles of the National Theatre when the Monday sisters launch into a hedonistic abandon in Brian Friel's modern classic Dancing at Lunisa. Michael Evans, Tom Vaughan Lawler, recounts a childhood summer at an aunt's house in the fictional village of Ballabeg in County Donegal in 1936. Uncle Jack, Cardell O'Hanlon, has returned from life as a missionary in Uganda an ailing and out-of-place man. His five unmarried sisters flirt with finding romance during the Celtic festival of Lunisa but feel the constraints of upholding the home and family reputation built largely by their brother. But a temperamental gramophone provokes sweet relief from maintaining the decorum. Siobhan McSweeney brings infectious humor to Maggie, one of the aunts based on Friel's own family. Her Dairy Girls co-star Louisa Harland gives a riotous streak to sister Agnes. Justine Mitchell reveals the pressure incumbent on the elder that makes Kate the enforcer of her sisters. As well as on the religious norms expected of Jack. Johanlon avoids playing him as an old fool fit for mockery and shows Jack as a rebellious and well-intentioned elder shunned for his unorthodoxy. The cane twirling of Fred Astaire tops off the charisma of Jerry, the caddish father of Michael. Who manages to charm the boy's mother Christina, an entrancing Alison Oliver, despite his glaring flaws. Jerry, played with begrudgingly likable toffish charm by Tom Riley, seizes the opportunity to establish a sense of purpose by joining the Spanish Civil War to fight against Franco's forces. Which would be backed by the Catholic Church. Vaughan Lawler masterfully reveals the warmth of the memories he is recounting while delivering Friel's emotive monologues on memory and ceremony. He does not so much cherish the nostalgia but inspects it and he is aided by a shimmering set that evokes misty memories of the gentle summer heat of childhoods. Director Josie Rourke has done justice to a play by one of the greats of Irish theatre with a staging that is both thoughtful and funny. Dancing at Lunisa runs at the National Theatre until the 27th of May.